I hear a lot of talk among drummers about snare buzz, how to minimize it, how to eliminate it. And, you know, since the beginning of snare drums, that's always been an issue. I guess you could call it that. But it's really, I think it, uh, I think it's overrated as a problem. I got to the point where I just realized my snares buzz a lot, and I, so I just ignore it. And I'll be sensitive, and if there's a singer singing or something, singing a, a ballad and there are no drums, I'll turn the snares off. Or if, uh, you know, there's an instrumental, turn the snares off. It's nice and quiet. That's a nice professional thing to do. Turn the snares off whenever they could be buzzing and there's no need to even have them engaged. Now having said that, and quite frankly I have, snare buzz is something you can live with. You cannot eliminate it completely. If you do eliminate it completely, you probably significantly compromise the sound of either the snare drum or typically the tom that's causing it. This is an eight inch tom and the way you tune the really small toms, you have to be super careful because you're usually pretty close to the snare drum pitch. So that eight inch is tuned higher. It stands up that way. As you know, I do not believe in tuning the pitches. So we definitely want to try and minimize it. It can get kind of out of control. And even if it is out of control, it's really not noticeable out in the audience. What you, first thing you can do is when you tune the snare, tune the snare high. Should be nice and crisp. Um, bottom head should be significantly higher. Ding, ding, ding. So bottom head is significantly higher than the top. So the number one way to minimize the snare buzz is to crank your bottom head up pretty tight. Um, the second one is to make sure that none of your toms are tuned too close in pitch to the snare drum. And then um, how tight you have the snares. If you tighten them tighter, they'll be less responsive, but they will also buzz less. So tighten your snares up a little bit tighter. I have a trick three-way strainer on this snare. This is released. There's first setting and then tighter. Um, so you can instantly vary the character of the snare drum with the strainer. This is a really nice strainer. I got it at Sweetwater. I really, really like it. There are other ways to control the snare buzz and it's really not as big a problem as some people make it out to be. So let's have some fun. This is a really good way of testing your mics anyway. If you think you might have a certain mic, like if you've isolated a channel um, and suddenly everything cleans up, well then what I've done here is I've muted everything. I only have top heads mic, no shells or bottom heads. I don't have the snares mic, but we'll get to that. And all the mics are muted except for the snare mic. And I'm going to hit the toms and you'll be able to hear how bad or how minimal the snare buzz is. Here's with it loose. It might be, it might be a little better. I'm holding the snare mic close to the shell. You can hear the snares a little bit more. Here's holding it near the snares. Now we'll loosen that. Even worse, I honestly don't know why so many sound men insist on miking the snares. I do believe in miking the shells. When I have uh, fewer pieces set up, I like miking top heads and the shells. Gives a really nice balance 
of sound. A lot of attack in the shell, most drums. Okay, cleared the mute. I've cleared the solo on the snare. And you tell me if you can hear the snares buzzing. Really, you don't hear them at all. Between having the bottom head tight, having the snares a little tight, you don't want to choke them. Being careful about how you tune the toms that set this thing off, and that goes both ways. Tune the snare, tune the toms so that they are as far from each other pitch-wise as possible. It's not even an issue. If you're miking the snares, it's going to pick up a lot of snare. So you can always mute the mics, solo the snare mic, the actual snare mic, if you're insistent upon using that, and just determine just how intrusive it is. And obviously, the smaller the drum set, that is, the fewer number of pieces, the less this is an issue. Typical four piece, it's not even an issue. The drums are bigger. You got a 12 or a 13 inch small tom, 16 inch floor tom, and the snare is so much higher pitched than that, it barely buzzes, if at all. But when you get into these bigger drum sets, more pieces with higher pitches, just be aware. And it can be dealt with. It's, it's not a big deal. I think it's making mountains out of molehills. Mountains out of molehills. Mountains out of molehills. Mountains out of molehills. Mountains out of molehills.